Bangalore, third most populous city and fifth most populous urban agglomeration in India. It is the hub for India's information technology, the top 10 preferred entrepreneurial locations in India. Indeed, it is the famous Garden City of India. Around two score kilometers from the Bangalore International Airport, right at the heart of this garden city, lies a temple of wisdom in the Garden of Dharma, Dharmaram Vidya Kshetram, one of the only two pontifical Athenaeums in India, originally founded by and growing under the benefaction of the blessed Kuryakos Elias Chavara and dedicated to the sacred heart of Jesus, the Sanatana Guru of Dharmaram. It is a pontifical Athenaeum of philosophy, theology and canon law, established by the Vatican and entrusted to the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, the CMI congregation. Isha Bhakti Paragnanam, devotion to Lord is the supreme wisdom, the motto of Dharmaram established in the eternal Dharma of Jesus. The legacy started with the first monastery set up at Mannanam, Kerala on 11th May 1831 which got later invigorated at Chittipula. The legacy of the blessed Kuryakos Elias Chavana, who first introduced a system called a school along with every church, which was at the foundation of a successful system in making free education for everyone, thus being the reason for a higher educational penetration in Kerala. This legacy was further extended to Bangalore to form the Dharmaram College, which later organically evolved into Dharmaram Vidya Kshetram, catering to the seminary formation of CMI students as well as promoting higher education in ecclesiastical subjects. Dharmaram Vidya Kshetram, one of the only two pontifical Athenaeums in India, offers training in theology, philosophy, canon law, and formative spirituality and counseling. We must praise and thank the Divine Providence that consistently guided DVK from its beginning till today. A legacy of true Indianization, a legacy which stood for inclusive perspective of all the religions and churches a legacy of absolute uniqueness and true identity of being Christian, a legacy which was formally founded on 23rd July 1957, Dharma Ram Vidya Kshetram. The Faculty of Philosophy and the Faculty of Theology are empowered to award degrees up to PhD. The Faculty of Philosophy is guided by the words of Jesus that you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. And the Vedic prayer, let noble thoughts come from all sides. Faculty of Theology is the continuation of the noble legacy of the CMI congregation, the field of theological education. An ecclesiastical institute heightened to the honor of Pontifical Athenaeum with two full-fledged faculties, one independent institute, four extension centers, one each established as far as even Rome and USA. An Athenaeum with a garland of state-of-the-art infrastructure facilities and a copiousness of four affiliated institutes in different parts of India. An Athenaeum with a cornucopia of opportunities and a top-rated library to nourish and enlighten oneself with a beautiful vision on education. An Athenaeum with a forward-looking administration that tirelessly works for the nourishment of the seekers of truth and the society at large. The Institute of Oriental Canon Law at Dharmaram Vidya Kshetram, which is aggregated to the Pontifical Oriental Institute, Rome, was established by the Congregation for the Catholic Education on 29 March 1999. Vinaya Sadhana, Center for Formative Spirituality and Counseling, the Faculty of Theology, offers licentiate, MA, and one year diploma programs. The legacy and mission of Tarmaram Vidya Kshetram are intertwined with the vision of Tarmaram College, which has its source in the original charism of the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, especially in the vision of our blessed founder, Kuryakos Elias Chavara. Blessed founder and his companions, they were great Madhpan's time. They initiated a beautiful theological education comprising both serving the church, especially the Sri Malabar church, and great tolerance and openness to the religion. The Catholic character of the campus is vibrantly visible from the fact that all the three rites of the Catholic Church in India are present here on our campus. A reality is born from a dream, 
for the destiny bearers of tomorrow, a dream to understand the reality of religions and society with a total commitment to God and his people. The soul of every institution is the discipline and dedication of the management. DVK has the same to enhance the quality of education they provide. DVK publishes four journals of international stature and stabilized standards such as Journal of Dharma, Asian Horizons, Vinaya Sadhana and Eustacea. The first and the most influential centers of the DVK is the Center for the Study of World Religions. Among other 10 centers, DVK also houses the Geneva-based Globethics.net India as well. With Darsana and Samanuya, two off-campus institutions and four other affiliated colleges, DVK has around 1100 students on the road and they come from different churches in India and abroad. There are also non-Catholic and non-Christian students attending various courses. As the architect of Dharmaram College, Bishop Jonas Taliyat said, Christ is the key to theology. The Faculty of Theology at DVK upholds a signature legacy of the Catholic tradition which has been cherished by the respected CMI congregation. The Congregation for Catholic Education officially recognized this legacy with the establishment of the faculty in 1976. Apart from the BTH licensure in various theological disciplines, Biblical Theology, Systematic Theology, Moral Theology, Eastern Theology, Missiology, Formative Spirituality and Counseling. Classes on Indian Christian Theology help one to understand the need of enculturation. I can very well say that theology at DVK helps us to read the signs of time. Analysis of the challenges raised by the modern ethical issues based on the teachings of the church equips us to stand for life. The faculties also empower, award the degree of Doctor of Theology. The main thrust of the faculty is to equip the students to be witnesses of the kingdom values in a pluralistic society of cultures, religions and ecclesial traditions. Endowment and extension lectures. Contextualized theological learning. National and international seminars. Theology at DVK prepares us. Widen our horizons. The nature-friendly campus of DVK. Hallmark of Dharmaram Vidyachetra. And an emphasis on eco-spirituality. To successfully deal with the future pastoral challenge. Help us to realize the importance of nature in the plan of God. The presence of the members of the three Sui Juris Catholic Churches and their daily celebration and the presence and creative involvement of the non-Catholic students create a congenial ambience for ecumenism and inter-ecclesial relations. Faculty of DVK gives us a balanced global outlook of Christian faith. Sometimes the stone speaks louder than the image. The Faculty of Philosophy at DVK gladly following the teachings of the great teachers from the West represented by Socrates, from the East represented by Sri Shankaracharya and the Catholic identity being represented by Aquinas establishes the Dharmaram legacy in philosophical education and research. <laughs> Philosophy is the love of wisdom, passion for truth, and search for meaning of life. Come to Dharmaram. The Garden of Virtues. I came here at DVK to study philosophy. Philosophy is not a, a mere intellectual exercise. Here at DVK, we are initiated in different great philosophers and their philosophy. To know thyself. Philosophy is a subject that can be taught in a very boring way. It becomes part of the daily life of each student. We make our own philosophies for our life. In the arms of nature. But this is not the case at the VK because the professors really inspires us to think critically. A sanctuary for your soul. We learn from the religious and philosophical traditions of India and the great masters from the West to know the truth leading to harmony of life. 
here at DVK. Students are trained to respond in a somatic and creative and analytic way. The serenity and peace which the DVK environment gives has no equal. DVK is a fragrant flower. Students are very respectful and teachers are very trained. With a passion for philosophy, it provides the best ambience for philosophy and theology. In the garden of the sacred heart of Jesus. I like DVK campus very much. We offer courses from certificate to PhD in philosophy. We have centers for the study of world religions, Dalit studies, environmental studies, and publish a journal, the Journal of Dharma, an international quarterly since 1975. DVK showed me that behind every systematic philosophy, there is a life. Compared to all schools and colleges, we experience a serene atmosphere. DVK caters towards the holistic development of a student. Each one is welcomed and accepted as they are. The heart of DVK lies in the hearts and minds of the students. We have endowment lectures. We have different students from different parts of India and even from outside countries like Malta, Kenya and Ethiopia. National and international conferences. And inspire me to think creatively. I learned to live a life without a mask. Professors have never failed to show us models of hard work. Observing our maskless teachers. We feel at least here that's Dharmaram, DVK. And in every life there should be a philosophy. Proud to be a product of Dharmaram. The beautiful new building DVK Research Center houses the Institute of Oriental Canon Law, Vinaya Sadhana, an institute of formative spirituality and counseling, and the pastoral management course offered by the Institute of Pastoral Management. The institute is meant for the study of the Oriental Canon Law in comparison with the legislation for the Latin Church in the light of the Gospel and by millennial traditions of the Church. The Institute of Oriental Canon Law attempts to synthesize the Canon Law and the Civil Law with in-depth understanding of all relevant juridical systems. Its aim is to form researchers, teachers, as well as competent personnel to work in the eparchial or diocesan curias and ecclesiastic tribunals having particular regard for the context of India. Another excellent feature of education provided by DVK is the Vinaya Sadhana, an institute of formative spirituality and counseling. The main thrust of the programs is psycho-spiritual integration in religious and priestly formation. The courses of the center are arranged to prepare future formators and counselors. The purpose is to prepare competent formators who could foster growth and wholeness in themselves and in those who are entrusted to their care. Being a residential program, the students get ample opportunity for counseling sessions, group liturgical activities and personal spiritual guidance. The eligible candidates can also apply MA in spirituality and counseling from Christ deemed university. This year the center has 60 students. The latest academic program presented by DVK includes the Pastoral Management course, which professionally equips ordained priests for specific ministries carried out in different parts of the world. One such program is the training offered to priests who plan to undertake mission in German-speaking dioceses. The location of DVK on Dharmaram campus along with Christ University and other Christ educational institutions and the academic collaboration with them offer opportunities for DVK to develop into greater heights in her academic pursuit. Books constitute capital. A library book lasts as long as a house for hundreds of years. It is not then an article of mere consumption but fairly of capital and often in the case of professional men setting out in life, it is their only capital. Where is the life we have lost in living? Where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? And where is the knowledge we have lost in information? DVK Library is the temple of learning and learning it offers will liberate people from all corners of the earth. Let's begin our journey to the world of wisdom from the feet of the Sadhguru contemplating beneath the Bodhi Vriksha with a blissful smile. The door engraved with sunrise, nature, book and meditation welcomes you to the world of wisdom. Here we have the opaque system which plays the role of the star which guided the Magi's so that the wisdom seeker can reach his destination. We have a program corner which initiates a face-to-face -face interaction with the others whom we generally encounter through books. We have a unique self-charging system which enables 
the students to charge their books themselves. Digital world of this library, which enables our wisdom seekers to be in tune with the world outside. Periodical section of the library where we have varieties of magazines with different subjects and deals with latest issues. The reference section of the library where we have books on different subjects. Dark section of the library where we have around 1 lakh books. A wonderful multimedia hall for meetings and conference. This is our exhibition area where our creative works are exhibited. A devotee, after filling his pot of knowledge up to its rim from Bodhi Guru Haram, moves for deeper reflection to Bodh Haram, which we call us Garden Library. As the reflection deepens, an individual moves from Bodh Haram to Bodh Hivanam, which is Forest Library, and then to Bodhi Guru Haram, which is Cave Library, which is in the prospective construction. The ancient Indian tradition of secluded contemplation in the cave is appreciated and imparted to all the wisdom seekers in this temple of knowledge, DVK Central Library. I'm very happy to say that DVK is rendering wonderful service to Indian Church and to a certain extent to the global church. DVK with its extension centers and affiliated institutes has widened its horizon by opening up a number of institution centers to address the contemporary needs of the Indian Church, especially with its ecumenical and interreligious thrust. The quality of an institution can definitely be measured in terms of the facilities it provides for the bearers and the students. DVK provides spacious housing facilities with special buildings for the professors, special hostel for research students, postgraduate students and Adhyayana, a hostel for women with special provisions made for religious sisters. It also provides a spacious cafeteria that stands as an archetypal illustration for the same. DVK also provides excellent banking facilities for the students and the bearers. With a number of postgraduate and research programs, four journals in different ecclesiastical disciplines, and seven high-profile annual endowment lectures, and one of the best infrastructures, we here at DVK cherish the goal of becoming a pontifical university in the near future in order to better serve the churches in India and the wider society by offering quality research and a training to seminarians and priests, religious and lay faithful through various innovative programs. Holistic formation in the radical discipleship of Jesus Christ, the Satguru, for Christian leadership. Promotion of rigorous academic research in philosophical, theological, canonical and allied disciplines. Harmonious synthesis of the Western, the Eastern and the Indian genius. Goes the mission of Dharmaram Vidya Kshetram. Exceptions are never examples, but right in the heart of the Garden City, there is an exceptional example for an exemplary discipline of education and infrastructure. A temple of wisdom in the Garden of Dharma, Dharma Ram, with a distinguished vision and mission. A living temple of wisdom and a Dharma of Jesus Christ for the well-being of all and the glory of God. Dharma Ram Vidya Kshetram. Tadhastu, Tadhastu, Tadhastu.